have you ever thought of doing the video live on any of the social media platform but you are unable to do that because of the internet or your equipment are not that good or you wanted to do that but you are unable to do that for somehow then this video is for you so guys what's up rj here back with another awesome review video out there so today we are going to be reviewing one of the awesome software that you know most of the people out there use to set it up a pre-recorded video as a live on ton of social media platforms out there it's called one stream live i will put up the link in the description down below if you want to check it out it have also a free plan as well and we can talk about the rest of the things as well about one stream live so let's get into the screen so as you can see that this is the one stream live main website and if you can see you can schedule and do live streams out there so if you have a particular video out there and now you want to put it as live on any of the social media platform there are like a ton of social media platforms that are you know allowed to use with one stream live including youtube including facebook twitch twitter instagram and many more out there which is literally crazy and if you see out there you can do so much things you can have multiple streams as well that can be used as live and you can simply do live stream you don't need any software installation you have even cloud storage and upload options and even you can have team management as so many things as well and let's dive into it there's an option for sign up for free where can you you can simply literally can sign up for free as well i have already posted up the link in the description down below so you guys can literally can check that out i won't click on sign up because i already have the account for it so let's go into one stream live so like if you see over here the first thing that literally pops up is basically the dashboard the dashboard is the place where it will show you that how many ongoing live stream you have or how many schedule live stream you have set it up for now which plan are you how many accounts have you you have connected for now and many things out there and uh, other than this you will be able to see the number of accounts and like it depends on different plans out there on which plan are you and then how many limitations you have on the connections of accounts and the amount of live stream you can schedule up the number of hours you can do a single live stream or a whole of a live stream in a month or whatever the case scenario is that if we go into the ad account option over here like you will be able to see we have ton of things that we can simply use and up do the things for example we have like facebook page group facebook profile and you can have more than one profile as well from one facebook account you can have it you can have multiple groups multiple pages out there again uh, it depends upon your plan on which plan are you you can use periscope youtube if you want to do custom rmtp rdmp you can simply do that as well it includes switch instagram and many more as well like there are a ton of the uh, live stream platforms which like i simply don't know about that but it's into it and it's available so there are many out there as well so you can have like one two more how many accounts you have if you see over here i have some of my accounts out there some of my accounts my page my groups out there into it as well apart from this if you see there's an option for videos out there you know this is one of the two accounts that i literally had i had one free account then i you know moved on to the paid account as well because i love using one stream live because it is a great way if you want to do live video and you you're caring about the bandwidth if you have the problem with your equipments out there if you somehow you know in the initial start you don't have the confidence to do live out there you can do it and it's pretty pretty crazy out there so over here you can simply have a look on if you already have a safe videos out there or you have safe storage like i have 20 uh, gb out there for the personal storage and it is you know for the 60 days time frame as well and i can also you know can use videos up for uploading i can literally can upload videos from my computer out there from dropbox from google drive from onedrive and like many different platforms as well so it's not necessary that i need to have uh, the video out there into my own device or computer it's not a must have thing if you can have you can move things from different cloud based drive folders as well which is insane literally and out there if you see if, even if you go for like schedule live stream out there if for example if you go for new stream and uh, like whenever we go for new stream out there we can have option that of how we want to upload the things we do we want to upload from our own device as well or from the cloud storage whatever the choice we have or upload or record for example if we do right now we won't going to be uploading it for example right now but like for the part of the video we can do that and for example if we do let's say this is one of the 
seminar video that I had let's do enter and upload the file and let's see how it turns out so finally we have uploaded the video the internet was so slow you know that is the exact problem that I was uh, exactly talking about like when you're trying to do lives and you don't have that much good bandwidth and the video is not of a good quality then it comes over that particular places so that is how you know one stream live is crazy so I just uploaded the video there you can change the thumbnails if you want to have add more watermark you can simply do that as well or like for now in the plan which I have right now I can be on the limit of 60 minutes of one video out there I can use the titles the description that is the exact same description will be shown into the videos description out there I can use tags if I want to tags out there if you want to have the, some sort of a schedule out there so that people can have a look and depending upon what social media platform you're doing this as a pre-recorded live they will get reminders of live and they can you know receive reminder and they will get notified once you publish this uh, schedule live and also like if you can see is you can have multiple social media platforms that can use to live stream on more than one places out there for example you can have your own profile and you can have, have can have your own page as well whatever or your own group or whatever the platform you want to have you can simply have it and you can simply schedule it as well according whatever the time zone that you want to do and whatever the date whatever the time whatever the thing is you can simply do that as well and then it will land up on the schedule part and other than this you can also have like let me do the discard schedule for now other than this we have like streaming history like if you have streamed in the past or if you haven't and also the members like if you have a team of content creator and content manager overall like the people who manage your content and people who create your content out there you can have the people out there of your team so yeah it would be content creator and content manager out there you can have those people out there as well and again it depends upon the plans out there right now we're going to be talking about the plans right like soon for now and then you can have your plans and everything else over here so yeah let's talk about the pricing and how much one stream live basically cost and how these pricing comes up and what is the initial difference so there is basically you know a free plan out there which have some sort of a limits when it comes to uh, doing live on one stream live it is like basically five minutes you know and that is not essentially accurate five minutes out there on the free plan nothing else if you're if you are on the free plan out there you can have some sort of those limits out there but for now by the time of this video we are going to be talking about some of the paid plans because you know uh, what I think is the free plan is not worth that enough because who like mostly people don't do five minutes live and then you have a limit of an hour or something like that so the basic plan is like ten dollar per month you can do unlimited live streaming out there you can have multicasting that you can ha do multi streaming as well at once you can have three queued streams at a time so what what it means is that you can have three scheduled queue in a single run and each live stream should be of 15 minutes max you won't be able to exceed alongside 15 minutes and you can have three social accounts basically connected so it could be any three social account it could be your Facebook profile your group and your additional group these are three social accounts and your database have the limit of five uh, gigabytes five GB out there you can have 15 minutes camera recording it's almost the same 15 minutes screen capturing and the 5 GB that's it now what is the recommended one and what is the and the good one out there that is the standard one that is the value pack which is and that is the plan I am in currently that is you have unlimited live streaming you have 15 queued live stream in a single run you can have 16 minutes that is a decent amount because even if you're doing live streams a long live, live stream out there you're doing interviews out there I think 60, 60 minutes is a good time overall to get this thing done you have 25 social accounts that that is literally crazy you know now you can have so much of the place out there that you can have much of the social media accounts then you know you can have your YouTube channel out there you can have your Instagram account you can have your Twitch you can have multiple social media or Facebook groups out there that is literally crazy you can have one exactly one hour camera recording and the rest of the things and 20 GB of file storage and priority email support alongside custom logo and overlay you can simply put up your own overlay and custom logos as well you can have two team members and uh, okay okay in the basic plan you don't have team members out there but over here you can have team members you have analytics and many more things and then there is a professional plan that you know that allows 30 queued streams at a time 8 hour max 50 social accounts that is you know even even if you are Gary Vaynerchuk you don't need 50 social accounts I think so okay unlimited file size where that is 
you know again unlimited eight hours camera recording like the rest of the thing is the same uh, I don't think that there are 14 members Facebook live cross posting cross posting might be must be something like you know on two pages at the exact same time one-on-one -on -one training or some dedicated customer success manager and then you can have add-on features if you want to customize your features on your own so yeah that's it for today's review for one stream live if you, again if you want to have one stream live you can have it on link in the description down below and you know you can go for one stream live can check it out and go for the paid plan it's literally worth it because you know if you again if you want to go for a live to let the people know that it's live but it's not on your own side but it is working as a live it's good because it's good for engagement it's good for interaction you can interact with the people out there as well because if you're doing a uh, pre-recorded and uh, uploaded as a pre-recorded you know it it don't have that much fun when it comes to a live and depending upon the social media platforms so yeah guys that's it for now see you on the next video